So I have been crazy about fish and ecology and evolution for as long as I can remember. And I've always had a strong interest in salmon particularly. So I have some really nice video of juvenile coho and juvenile cutthroats. I started the Salmon Watchers program again this year for North Lake Washington tributaries and tributaries along the Sammamish River. Oh, oh yeah, it's just lovely. <laughs> the kinds of things we have Salmon Watchers do is pick out an area of the stream for about half an hour a week. So it's usually two 15 minute periods. And first just stand there, get a sense of what's out there. And slowly, if you look for a while, fish that you might not have seen originally, will you'll start to see them a little bit. And there's just a salmon right there. And we're trying to get how many fish are there, what different species are there, are they spawning? Uh, is there pre-spawn mortality? Whoa, look at them. And we get lots of really neat footage. Last Saturday, we had two Chinook salmon that came up McAleer Creek right here. And I turned, and because I was so close, it was like right there. I was like, oh my gosh, like it's so huge. It's really rewarding when you see that salmon, because like, wow, I've, I never even knew there was going to be salmon in this creek, and there were two huge ones that I'm, that's really lucky to see. So often, people don't even know that there are salmon in their oh, local streams. And if you don't know there are salmon in your local streams, then it's hard to care so much about how you manage stormwater runoff or fertilizers and those kinds of things. So it's a combination of providing data that's useful for management, but also getting people a little bit more connected so that they think in less abstract ways about how they can actually be helpful to salmon coming up.